Hi, this is LT Survival. Well, today's video is going to be a little different. I'm at the my work table and uh, I'm editing a video. Why am I filming the editing of my video? Because I had a conversation with uh, Jake from Canadian Cutting Edge uh, about it and I wanted to show some of the steps I take uh, to render my videos for YouTube. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Okay. Well, as you see, I don't have a software to transfer what my screenshot straight to uh, your uh, to the video I want to do. So I'm sitting here and I'm going to do the manipulation on the video hopefully you're going to be able to see as much as uh, of the, the the work as possible so there's a couple feature on uh, the software okay I'm gonna go through the screen uh, this is the sample I'm vi viewing right now and there's a, um, a guideline right here okay where I I'm able to know what's the image at that point so I can cut I can uh, do everything I need to the timeline there's a gap here because I removed part of the video which I'm going to insert again what's fun with uh, Premiere Element like Photoshop once you mastered you mastered the basics it's pretty easy and almost instinctive to use it's expensive though and there's some um, video editing software that are free uh, this one is pretty um, heavy and it does a lot of work so first of all uh, you've got windows that can open like the standard window um, which is basically it's in French by the way my uh, my software so you might not recognize the word uh, this one is to uh, restore something uh, this place cut but that's we don't use that one often open project new project uh, recent project close um, save as basically save a copy uh, you can go back to the old version uh, get the media straight from uh, the cameras or things like that uh, you can do an archive project uh, and quit modify you have all kinds of uh, cut paste um, delete okay element um, you can break your audio and video link uh, synchronization basically you've got uh, uh, fusion you've got uh, stop uh, you've got audio uh, you can modify your gain uh, extend uh, so there are some of the of these that are located here so basically you can work straight on the timeline also so we'll come back um, you you have all kinds of things you can do zoom zooming uh, this this is important um, it's a rendition so basically at the end of the video you pass it through the rendition so every transition and things like that will be um, smoothened out by the um, the program uh, you can uh, make sure the uh, magnetic is uh, is activated because I want this these gap when I cut to be uh, closed <coughs> uh, I have no idea what that does that's writing I have only one uh, writing right now uh, I have well when I go I can do uh, with uh, panning and uh, shifting and um, fix by default I can uh, I can use Windows okay not much I use in that uh, because it's basic um, registered uh, the, the save back moving forward organized uh, full screen this is where you get your uh, your clips 
uh, that you're going to be assembling. So basically, Obtain Media is the clip you're going to download. So if you download it to the computer, then Obtain Media, you can go get the clips. Uh, the last one I've got is those five here, uh, which I'm, uh, I've selected. Uh, in my uh, my archive or my video file where I'm going to take all this to uh, to be put. Uh, I can classify them, have the details. Uh, I can have only the video, only the audio. So if I eliminate the video tr thing is all the music here that I have downloaded. That also includes voiceover. Here are stills that I've imported, okay, in the program, so I can use still image in the video, okay, and I can have also all the the video, and I can have them all together, so it's easier to to get. I can also uh, get by period. This is the zoom for uh, for this, okay. Can I, I can work very in detail to get my my timing. Okay, so, so here, so here's the gap. This is my timeline, and that's where I'm going to use the marker here with the scissors to cut, like cooping, cutting a, um, a movie uh, strip, and then I'm going to assemble them. If I click on this part, and I click to the right, I can suppress that space that has been done. So all I have it to do is to suppress. Okay, I don't want to do that because the clip is a little further out. Uh, so, so you have here on the left, controlled by this thing, is up to three video uh, image and sound uh, that you can assemble together. So you don't necessarily have to cut and replace everything. I can uh, voice over a commentary and have an audio, tra uh, an audio uh, background. So that's supplementary stuff uh, in there. So, how to get started. First of all, you have to select one of those. Okay, and I'm gonna select this one. Uh, you've seen in my video that uh, this one has been inserted somewhere and I'm gonna assume it goes there. So here you go and I put it there okay so when I move the um, the uh, the video that I want to insert in the video 2 over the video 1 the computer already tells me um, the element that I've uh, that I've moved contain a very plain background so basically it's telling me almost i have a green screen and if i had a, a very um, colorful background would work even better so do you want to video merge this element so this way i can do two things if i say yes here we go we see the background and we see the front and there's a square box here that you see you might see there oh here here we go so if I move that box okay I can take this take that and move it the, this one oh I wrong one so if I wanted to I could there we go I can move this in the corner here and insert a secondary image. If I want, I can cover my face like this. <laughs> so I can merge the video basically to what I want, to basically what I want to show. So here I go, like this. So if I start the play, okay. So the image has been merged 
one into the other. I can also cut my other image, put the, the video to, and then it will replace this image. That's a nice way, this, this is a nice way I've done that on the last video when I presented the badge. So, how do I put those segments together? Okay, I'm going to remove this. Okay, see that? My, uh, my two timelines have been merged together. So, I'm going to insert this, which is basically my title screen, into the timeline and you see the other one move away and my timeline here has been inserted so basically that's how I put together the old thing and since I'm filming in both languages I have to cut away a lot of uh, stuff so in that that's why I, I try to do long segment in straight shots so I don't have to cut and cut again the more you cut the more you do a transition the more time it's going to take to do your video okay the next thing is to see uh, if there's anything left in there that you want to remove or insert a, a title so you have to, to listen to okay come usually I listen to the video so that way I can remove any part of text that I don't like. Let's see at the end here. If I have anything. Okay, that's the update I'm finishing. Okay. Oh, this is finished, so let's go there. Lots of back and forth uh, work on the uh, seeing that I tried to keep the minute down and I'm already 15 minutes in. Yeah. So. Okay, if I can move it a little forward. Here we go. So. I've used the scissors to cut and now I can cut again okay and eliminate that part all I have to find now is my uh, end title my outro I use and this is the firebox here insert once this is if I put my uh, my mouse on it it says it's nine seconds long so it's too short so I had two. Here you go. And then I can write my titles and everything in there. So that's it. That's how I do video um, editing. I might have to do a second one for everything else, but uh, it's how basically I assemble. And I use montage here or assembly to do the audio and video transition. Simple. No fancy uh, transition in there, but at least one. So, so that's it. Hope this uh, is instructive and that you uh, gonna like it. It's the first time I'm trying to do something on the computer that uh, I'm film, so it might be a total disaster. We'll see. So stay tuned. We'll be right back in the next video.